The pursuit of happiness is a fundamental aspiration for all humans. Yet, how can it truly be attained? According to the teachings of Buddha, the originator of Buddhism, happiness doesn't stem from external factors such as wealth, fame, power, position, knowledge, or relationships. Instead, he emphasized that true happiness arises from the mind itself. By cultivating and training the mind, it's possible to achieve a lasting and profound happiness that remains unaffected by any external circumstances. The forthcoming story will unveil the essence of this elusive happiness. Once, a young and accomplished businessman had it all. Money, fame, power, and a life of luxury. His days were consumed by work, jet-setting across the globe, sealing deals and growing his business. He neglected his family, friends, and his own well-being. Though he believed he was content within himself, he felt hollow and unsettled. One day, the businessman got a letter from an old friend who had left the city long ago to follow a spiritual journey. The friend asked him to come to a distant village in the Himalayas where he now lived as a Buddhist monk. The businessman found this intriguing and interesting, so he agreed to visit his friend there. The businessman finally reached the village after a long, exhausting trip. His friend welcomed him warmly, appearing calm and glowing with joy. His friend then guided him to the monastery where he resided and introduced him to the other monks and the head monk. The businessman admired the peaceful and simple surroundings, yet he also felt awkward and uneasy in that environment. For several days, the businessman stayed with his friend, exploring the village, the temple, and the beautiful natural surroundings. His friend also shared some fundamental Buddhist teachings, like the three universal truths, the four noble truths, the noble eightfold path, the three jewels, and the five precepts. The businessman listened respectfully, but he had doubts and was eager to move on. He believed Buddhism was too pessimistic, unrealistic, and not useful in real life. He disagreed with his friend and questioned why he chose to abandon everything to become a monk. However, his friend remained patient and understanding. He explained how Buddhism had revealed to him life's true meaning and purpose, leading him to a deeper sense of contentment. His friends stressed that happiness wasn't reliant on external circumstances, but rather on one's mental state. He emphasized that pursuing worldly pleasures wouldn't secure happiness. Instead, it lay in releasing attachments, desires, and dislikes. His friend highlighted that happiness couldn't be purchased or owned, but discovered through sharing and generosity. Moreover, he emphasized that happiness wasn't a future discovery, but a present experience found in living each moment fully. The businessman remained unconvinced by his friend's teachings and chose to leave the village, intending to go back to his usual routine. He expressed gratitude to his friend for the kindness and said goodbye. Before departing, his friend smiled and handed him a present, a small wooden box with a note reading, The Secret of Happiness. He told him to open it only when he felt ready. The businessman departed from the village and took a plane back to the city, feeling keen to get back to his business and put the village visit behind him. Yet, as he sat in his seat, an unusual curiosity and temptation to open the box gripped him. He pondered over its contents and the meaning his friend attributed to the secret of happiness. Eventually, he couldn't resist and opened it, only to be stunned by what he found inside. The box was empty. The businessman was furious and felt let down. He believed his friend had played a mean prank, causing him to feel he'd squandered both his time and money. In his anger, he discarded the box and attempted to compose himself. As he glanced out of the window, observing the clouds and sky, a rush of emotions overwhelmed him and tears streamed down his face. He came to the realization that his friend had actually given him an invaluable present, the gift of wisdom. He grasped that the key to happiness wasn't contained in a box or anything external. It dawned on him that true happiness lay within himself, waiting to be uncovered by embracing the principles of Buddha. He comprehended that happiness stemmed from being satisfied with what he had, showing kindness to others, and staying focused on the present moment. He experienced a newfound gratitude and happiness unlike any he'd felt previously. Determined to transform his life, he chose to embark on the journey of Buddhism. He resolved to pursue happiness not in material possessions, but in spiritual fulfillment. He smiled and thanked his friend in his heart. He had found the secret of happiness. The Buddha's lessons about happiness aren't just something you take like medicine. 
They're a daily habit of mindful thinking and actions that we can examine firsthand through our own lives. By walking the path the Buddha laid out, we can change our minds from causing suffering to creating happiness. This way we unlock the hidden secret of happiness residing inside us.